Are you thinking about getting your woods logged out? You may be signing up for something that you have no idea what you're getting yourself into. Few people know what logging is, how it works, and let alone what it actually looks like on your property. So today we're gonna to be looking at four major reasons why you may actually want to avoid getting your property logged out. Number one reason that you should maybe not sell your trees are when it's around your house. In my time consulting, I've come across quite a few people that want to have trees removed and I get there and they're around their house. And you know, if, if your main goal is to make so trees aren't falling on your house, um, this can make sense. But I, I do see a lot of people that it's just around their property and around their home and they're more so looking for you know the money that they're going to be getting out of the woods and have no idea what it actually looks like and what kind of return they're going to be getting on their woods. And a lot of people don't realize that those treetops and those stumps, when they're getting logged out, are staying right where they fall when they drop the tree. This creates a lot more mess, a lot more tops and firewood than that, what they were initially thinking that it would be. And most of them are not prepared to actually do the amount of cleanup that's going to be required. An example of this is I personally live on three and a half acres, most of that's wooded, and we live up on a hill that overlooking the woods. And there's a lot of really big mature white oaks that would be worth quite a bit of money. Um, but if I go down there and harvest those trees, what do I have to show for it? Um, I have, you know, top slang everywhere. I have a much less beautiful view out my back porch and all for what ten thousand dollars and those trees cannot just be replaced those trees have been growing for literally 50 to 100 years and it's not something that can just be replaced like that it's going to take a lot of time and it probably won't be in your lifetime you have to weigh the pros and cons of is several thousand dollars actually worth taking the trees around your house and I've consulted on many properties where we purposely leave trees, you know, that are overlooked from the house just for aesthetics. It just looks so much better without taking those trees out. And that brings us into the second reason you may not want to get your woods logged out. And that is the amount of tops that are going to be laying there once the project is finished. Occasionally I come across a client that has, you know, say 10 to 50 acres of woods and they intend to go in and clean up all the tops after the project is completed. If that's the case, I rarely recommend that they actually go ahead with the project. It's going to be way more work than what they realize, and if some debris from the tops and the material laying there afterwards is going to bother you, it's probably not going to be worth the money in your scenario. The tops deteriorating into the ground actually bring back nutrients into the ground, help the trees that are there, um, and it promotes you know, more growth and health and overall minerals back into the ground. But if doing a harvest is going to mean you having to clean up all the tops, it typically is not going to be worth it. The sheer amount of manpower, equipment, and cost to clean something like that up will probably not offset what you're getting out of the timber. It's just so rarely is worth doing it if that's actually what you want to do. Hey guys, if you're enjoying this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you have any questions, want to see more content like this, or have something that you have a question about, leave that in the comment box below. Let's keep going. Third reason you should not cut your trees is if you do not understand the contract that the buyer is presenting to you. Recently, I spoke to a landowner that was getting his property logged out and this was not a client of mine, but it was a person that had sold their trees to a mill 
And as I was speaking to him, he told me that the first day that the loggers came out to start, he realized what kind of mistake he made. The contract stated 20 inches point of cut. The mill did not explain to him what that was. In his mind, he felt 20 inches, pretty big. You know, that's gonna not take a whole lot of trees. But really, 20 inches point of cut is at the very bottom of the tree where the loggers actually cut the tree down. And as you know, all trees flare out of the bottom. And this allows for far, far more trees to be harvested than what he was aware or what he was expecting. And honestly, he, freaked, he was freaking out at the amount of trees being taken. And this was an area that him and his wife constantly, you know, enjoyed walking through the woods. There was nice paths going through that he walked through. And, and I hate to see that from just a lack of understanding what you're getting yourself signed up for. Always make sure that if you're doing a timber harvest that all your trees are marked. Not all loggers are willing to do this for you. This is why it's important to get a consultant out to take the time to do it. Most buyers are only getting, you know, possibly one out of 10 properties that they're looking at. So for them to spend a day or up to, you know, two weeks marking timber doesn't make sense for them. There's no return on investment there. And most of these people don't want to spend the time marking the trees. If you get a consultant in, they're able to walk you through the process help you with understanding the terms of the contract. And on top of that, you have all your trees marked. It's very clear you can walk through, see exactly which trees were you taken, and there's no surprise like that. So always, always make sure you understand the terms of the contract that you're signing. Number four is if the trees are not actually mature and are not ready to be harvested. Um, I've seen this a few times where people will, you know, say somebody knocks on their door and Hey, you know, would you want a price in your timber? And so, hey, well, sure, why not? And, you know, they may get a price. And again, usually they're not going through marking all the trees and whatnot. But um, I have seen quite a few properties that I get there and look at them and the trees are not ready to be harvested. There was one in Northeastern Ohio last year that I looked at and it had some timber that was ready. But if doing the type of harvest that the buyer wanted to do, it would have been 30 to 40 years till another harvest would have been able to be done. And a lot of this timber was right on the edge of being able to do a very light harvest and make it worth somebody's time. And so I recommended that he waited another five to eight years, let the, mature, the timber mature a little bit more, do a light harvest, and then that would have allowed him to get onto a 15 year harvest schedule. And this is a much more sustainable approach and will bring income into your pocket long term and makes a lot more sense. Another reason you should not sell your timber if it's not ready to be harvested is you may be able to get somebody to buy it. The issue is the valuable timber is timber that's in larger diameter, larger size, more mature. So yes, somebody may be willing to pay you for your trees now, but it's not going to be as much as when they are more mature. Your price per board foot is less when the trees are smaller and less valuable than when they are more mature and you are actually getting more per board foot plus there's more board feet in a tree. So it makes so much more sense to wait till the trees are actually mature to do a harvest and then doing it so selectively and then able to do that over a longer period of time. If you enjoyed this content, please subscribe, hit the like button and comment down below what you would like to see next. And if you'd like me to come out and consult on your property, you can reach me at my website in the description box below. See you guys next time.